imagine not having to no money, no financial risk or legal risk, no employee, independent being independent of brick and mortar itself, but having an entity that could be worth much more than the brick and mortar. That same hundred thousand dollars is worth five hundred thousand dollars or even a million dollars of a valuation, which means that now my business is worth much more, which means I can extract much more. We have the 10 monetization methods already that's in there, but now you're cloning the company. You're making a digital copy of the company to where even if that business and, and the, the crazy part about it is the company itself, like the business owner is funding you to create your digital copy. All righty, all righty, welcome back to the agency, the partner channel, formerly known as the artist known as Prince. No, I'm just playing. Um, Anti-Job University. Okay, today we have a <laughs> student turned partner named Curtis. He's gonna introduce himself and then we're gonna talk to you guys about the relaunch of the agency, the partner program. So if you didn't get in at 497, I don't know what's wrong with you because it is gonna be going up to about five grand and you are going to find out why that will still be an awesome deal for you today. So Curtis, my man, go ahead and introduce yourself. All right, so I'm Curtis Witt. I am the, the one of the founders of the Cinderella Equity Group. Uh, and we'll talk about what Cinderella Equity is. Uh, but uh, over the last year and a half, uh, me and some partner firms have bought uh, in upwards of 10 businesses. Uh, some of those businesses are doing very well. Uh, some of them are not doing so well, and which got me to where we are now and how we changed our business model to, show, to, to uh, take away and alleviate a lot of the headaches that we have as business owners. And, and trying to run the day-to-day -day operation. And so um, we run a little small micro private equity fund and looking forward to this interview because this is going to be great. And, yeah, and the stuff that you're doing fits, you know, magically well in what we're doing. All right. So let's get yeah. to it, guys. That's his introduction, man. This dude is marvelous, okay? So make sure you guys stick around. And I apologize. I'm kind of lazy. I don't feel like doing all the shining light YouTube -y stuff and all of that is a little bit dark here. And it's about to start the Panamanian thunderstorms in a minute, the quiet storms like back in the day, right? <laughs> um, but we're going to talk about agency to partner. That's the program that I put in place uh, to help agency owners, SMMA, uh, SEO, AI automation, uh, any type of digital marketing agency convert their current clients into partners, growth partners, profit share partners. Um, even if you need new people, you're not going to be going after clients. You're going to be going after partners so that you can take equity in the company, as Curtis is going to explain more about it today, and so that you can get a piece of every single sale that comes through that company. Soon you become the third leg pause of that company where they can't survive without you because you increase their value so much and it's attached to you, which is how we're going to segue into the digital twin today, because I know you guys saw the title creating digital twins of already successful companies to make money online and probably sell them mugs. You understand what I'm saying? This is super exciting, right? So I would, Absolutely. if you guys forgive Absolutely. me and ignore the fact that, um, I mean, who cares? Most of you guys are dudes. You shouldn't be trying to look at my face any dang on way. So just focus on what the voices are saying, the information, edification, and edumacation that you're gonna get today. All right, Curtis, go ahead, man. Uh, tell them a little bit uh, more. Right. So um, imagine, go ahead. No, no, I didn't say anything. You go ahead. Okay. So when we when we were doing okay, when we were doing our businesses, one of the some of the big problems that we had is, uh, and I made a list of all the things that I did not like about running a business. I had to put money up. I had financial responsibility and legal responsibility. I had employees. I had, I, I was there. Uh, imagine not having to no money, no financial risk or legal risk, no employees, 
independent being independent of the brick and mortar itself but having an entity that could be worth much more than the brick and mortar leveraging all the assets of the brick and mortar yet you don't own you don't necessarily run you control but you don't own the brick and mortar you you also have a a separate entity that's scalable very quickly it's also it, you you have passive income it's really once you set it up it's not a lot of maintenance that go along with that you can create wealth very quickly with this and more so than anything you can have peace of mind and i i read i read that list to my sister and she said well that's a that's a fairy tale business and i said <laughs> you're right it's sin Cinderella. It's Cinderella. Cinderella. And so what I Cinderella. So Cinderella equity is where you form a digital side of the company, uh, the brick and mortar, and you utilize automation, innovation to basically build the value of that of that entity. Now, here's the key. Here's the real key. What people don't understand is valuation and how you value a business. When you value a brick and mortar, it has the, so just for everybody, and you may want to write this down, value, the, how people value a business is equal to the multiple of that industry multiplied by the annual cash flow. So if I own a hair studio or hair, uh, a wig shop on fifth street my multiple is most likely two and mm -hmm. if i'm making a hundred thousand dollars free and clear a year then my, my business is worth two times that hundred thousand dollars or two hundred thousand dollars yet as a digital owner if i own that same wig shop but in the ether multiple is five to ten times such that that same hundred thousand dollars is worth five hundred thousand dollars or even a million dollars of a valuation which means that now my business is worth much more which means i can extract much more my business the equity in my business that i can sell is greater go ahead Dave. so then want to uh, interrupt because he's killing it, man. All right. So just in case y'all don't believe this, these numbers are not inflated. If you ever watched the uh, the profit with Marcus Lemonis, this is exactly what he's talking about. If you ever watched the Shark Tank show, you'll see when they come in there and they'll talk about their sales, it's cool. But then when they start dropping bombs on the assets that they own, the digital assets that they, oh, yeah, we also have an app and we also have a customer list. Then the sharks, their eyes light up and be like, oh, snap. OK, well, I see why you, you know, uh, set your company's evaluation that high, because the more like like brick and mortar is good and everything, guys. But it it takes longer to grow than digital does. Right is 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 a lot Absolutely. of bottlenecks. It's a lot of bottlenecks offline. Um, online is bottlenecks as well when you're building businesses. But there, everything is expedited online. Like the, sp the speed happens online for some reason, right? So what what Curtis is saying, uh, the, the evaluation of the company grows when you build this digital twin. And I'm about to share my screen, and we're gonna go through like the literal steps of what you guys are gonna be learning inside the agency to partner, the new and revised agency to partner program that's gonna have Curtis, Absolutely. one of the coaches in there. Hey, listen, man, y'all better stop with the penny pension. For real, because y'all are just looking at the suggested section videos right there and trying to find some cheaper free way to magically become Jeff Bezos. I'm trying to tell y'all, if you're over the age of 18, come on, man, be mature, become an investor, stop being a baby, stop expecting people to do it all for you, be a grown man. Some of y'all can turn around and look and see your kids, then you get online and turn into Goo Goo Gaga. Now, I'm not on here to beat you down. I want you guys to look at the value that, not, like when he told me the idea, because agency to partner was already set up, but I wasn't even going to really 
promote it or anything as you guys can see i just put it in the in the uh, the pin comment and then just like yo y'all can go sign up if y'all want to but when he told me his idea to add the cinderella equity part to it then he explained to me what a digital twin is i'm like yo these people can make way more than what i'm talking about alone just with the marketing and everything if y'all have ever wanted to um have have stake in companies so-called shares in companies and all of that this is a way to pretty much dive into a company infiltrate it if you want to call it and like become part of it like weave into it and, and like we have the 10 monetization methods already that's in there but now you're cloning the company you're making a digital copy of the company to where even if that business and and the, the crazy part about it is the company itself like the business owner is funding you to create your digital copy. <laughs> so even if you right. stop working with them in the future, without his permission, you own the digital you own the digital version of it that that you leveraged him to build. So right. it is it, it, crazy, guys. So that's why we increased the price. And that's why I told y'all to get in at 497. But now we about to add a nine in the middle of that. Right. So let me share my screen, Curtis. Uh, then right. uh, you'll be able to dive in it. Trey Song style pause into the. So this is truly exciting. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. OK, just in case y'all don't know is agency the partner right now, just in case y'all thought I would be asking because you're about to come here. Well, in the next couple of days, once we get all of this stuff officialized, what, what, what's happening? OK, hurry up. Okay, once we get all this official, y'all gonna come here and the 497 that you see right here is gonna have a nine right there. Like when I was doing consulting one on one with agencies and teaching them this stuff, I was charging 10K because I, back then I thought it was gonna create a lot of competition for me, but now I know it won't, right? But you get to get that today, last day, 497, because once Curtis create his section, and he's about to create the section this week. Once he creates his section of it, there's no way it will be illegal for us to charge low on that. All right. I only had it at 497 because I wasn't going to do too much involvement. I was going to set you guys up, give you access, give you access to the proper uh, private membership. Hope that you guys start dealing with each other and helping each other, give you the step by step training and the tools and all of that. You're going to make money. But now you can like break industries uh with the addition that that curtis is bringing to this okay so i just wanted to let y'all know man you can penny pants if you want to and say you know what when i get my taxes man when i get my all right when you get your taxes it's gonna cost your whole check how you feel about that so don't wait I, listen i wouldn't get listen i got three kids a wife three animals haven't been in the united states since 2012 scandemic had so much stuff, bad stuff happen to me since I've been gone, went rock bottom when Google's uh, algorithm destroyed all my assets. And in the midst of all of that crap, I was still paying thousands of dollars to learn more stuff so that the stuff that would never happen to me again. So I, I have little mercy for grown men who don't believe they have to do what they have to do to change their lives, but will sit on social media and blame the government and blame the world or blame God even worse when you run into people like me and Curtis. He is a veteran in this business stuff. And I've been doing this. You can go back all the way to 2015. So if you're going to learn from anybody, it's do what you want. Go to Tony Robbins concert and get hype and motivated and then go back home broke with your motivation if you want to not no shame on them but you need actionable business steps that you can actually take and we're going to show you how he he organized this and outlined it i'm stalling because i'm trying to build up the suspense <laughs> All right i'm about to show you how he outlined like the structure of everything that you guys are going to learn uh his addition that's going to like on, come into the already awesome agency, the partner program, and just is nothing out there like this. Right. So go ahead. Let, go ahead and show them, show them what this digital twin is. Right. Man. Digital twin. 
So here's the concept is to dramatically increase the cash flow and increase the cash flow and the value of the company by creating a digital twin. Now, this digital twin executes on a series of innovation techniques called R protocols. Now, these protocols then implement a series of tools, automations, and techniques that David has been talking about all the last couple of months. He's been teaching these techniques, you know, for free, really, but they're all in the 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 agency right the the training so so it provides a structure and a covering for what you are learning inside the the agency itself and so it's tools automation and techniques that drive profits and value to the company and then what we do is once we do that now you have a company that's worth something on the digital side and you can go and sell that which is is the beauty of it. You can go on some of the marketplaces and basically sell your interest in the digital side and you can get 10 times. Okay, okay, uh, okay, 20. okay. I got to interrupt you, Curtis, man. You dropping too much, Woo! man. Nah, I mean, all right. So when he says okay. it's on the marketplace, his place is called uh, like biz, buy, sell. You talking about stuff like that? Correct. Um, it's, um, yep. um, Loop what's net. another one? Um, say, LoopNet. Um, what's guiding light. I mean, there are others. There's there's five or six major ones that you can go yeah. and list your portion of the business on. It's oh. making revenue, and that's crazy, guys. Because the business owners, through the partnership agreement, they fund the entire growth of the digital twin. That's so right. They, that's right. They're not investing anything after you convert your your current. Are your current clients or your new partners into partners, guys, and they agree to, uh, um, you know, all of your your uh, acquire uh, requirements and everything in the agreement. You plug in the ten monetization methods, and then you start the R's that he's going to uh, go over in a minute, and that's going to increase the company valuation. And you can do what you will with it. You can keep on going with it, or you can like exit and sell it off. And you know, they, yeah, they get to keep they get to keep their brick and mortar side of things, right? It doesn't doesn't change, but you get to do what you want with yours that they funded. It's ultimate leverage right here. Okay, go ahead, man. Absolutely. And here's here's the hype part. Let me get you really hyped. Here's here it is. If I produce a hundred or a thousand dollars a month, free and clear, on the digital side, that's actually worth five times as much. So now I have a business that's worth $60,000 and I can clearly sell that business. What if I produce $2,500 worth? That's $3,000. That's a $150,000 organization that I can hand over to somebody and they would be happy because it's passive income. Yes, passive income. So if you, hold on, hold if you on, go Curtis. up just- Hold on, Curtis. Hold on one second. He says it's passive income, guys. What y'all don't understand is the reason why it's passive income is when we tell you to get partners, we're not talking like how traditionally you'll go and get clients. Traditionally, you go and get clients right. that have a problem. That's not what we're looking for. We're not looking for people to have a problem. We're looking to, if you want to call it, leech off. We're looking to hop on the bandwagon of companies that are already profitable because we want to stand in right. front of money and make a collision with it, right? So we tag on all of our 10 monetization methods that you'll learn inside agency to partner program when you go to the first pin comment. When you go uh, to the first pin comment. <laughs> we plug all of those 10 in, and once they're plugged in, since those companies are already getting traffic, it's little that we'll have to do in order to increase. So all we'll do is look at what's currently working for them and then complement that with a couple extra things to increase and speed up a little bit. But we're going to start profiting from day one because we're going after people that have visibility already, brand recognition already, profitability already, partnerships already. You understand? So that's the power in this. Now, go ahead. I'm, I'm not going to interrupt you no more, I promise. All right. Let, let's just go up a little bit so that you can see the other steps. I, I'm just going to. OK, right there. So first step, create the digital twin. That's about structure. That's about the LLC and how 
to do that. Second step, the digital trend executes the R um, protocols. That's the execution. Third step, the R protocols then have associated tools, techniques, and automations to implement uh, to be implemented. That's the implementation. And then the fourth step, the most exciting step is after anywhere from 90 to uh, 120, 180 days, less than six months, you assess the increase in cash flow and determine the value of the business, which is what we call reassessment. And so now we'll jump down to R1. So there are really nine R's. R1, which is remove. You, we're going to remove inefficiencies in the business. And you do that through the, the task is basically to identify inefficiencies in the business and their business processes. And we use a, a simple task or a simple tool called process mapping. R2 is you do R1 and then you do R2, which is replace. And that is swap out inefficient processes for more efficient technology. And so we're going to replace that with AIs. And so basically our tools uh, that we talk about that you learn about inside the, the program is chatbots and, and automation programs and how to put all those things together. So that so we re remove inefficiencies and we replace them with efficiency through technology, right? AI. Number three is we resize. We're going to resize their um, their customer base by growing it exponentially through automation, outreach, and lookalikes. So, so the task is for us to basically grow the customer base by leveraging the tools that we have. And we, you've already you've seen how David has been on videos and talking about scrapers and automation outreach tools and marketing media. And I call them virtual events. You guys call them webinars. All of those things are how we increase the customer base. That th These are things that we're going to do for our digital twin and and at the same time, do it for the brick and mortar, which, you know, benefits from the digital twin. Then we're going to replicate. And what replicate means, which is R4, is we're going to multiply our marketing effort with leverage. We're going to scale our marketing efforts through creating an affiliate army and talk about it all the time, right? You guys, yesterday's video or day before yesterday's video was about an affiliate army being part of the anti-job affiliate army. You use affiliate uh, software as a tool to do that. Number five, we're going to redistribute or in the vein of, of Snoop Dogg, reswizzle the dizzle. And <laughs> what that means is we're going to move steps around <laughs> in the process, right? And and for us, what that means digitally, digitally is this. When the bank, when the banking system gets an order and when they process the order, the merchant, even though it happens literally instantaneous, but the merchant is the last person to get paid. Mm -hmm. It goes, we take out our fee, the institution, and we, and then everybody else get their fee. And then once it's done, the merchant of the hundred dollars, they get their $96. Well, we are going to move that step up front. We're going to be the POS system. We're going to be the virtual gateway system. We're going to use other tools. We're going to use AdSense. We're going to use books. We're going to use all sorts of things that redistribute the, the wealth process and how wealth is created, how cash is generated. We're going to redistribute that and move steps around. Number six, repurpose. Now, here is here's what we do. We take the most valuable assets that they have, which includes knowledge. Right. And we we basically take that and we repurpose those assets. What do I mean by that? So we identify the top two or three assets. And one asset, as an example, is the customer. base. Well, we're going to repurpose that customer base and they will start off being our initial foray into you, our, our affiliate army. Boom. Why can't our customers, and we may call it a different thing. We may call it a referral program. Okay. But they're an affiliate army Boom. and we're going to make our customers affiliates of our organization. That's the first. So you instantly have an affiliate army already in your back pocket. Okay, Literally. so I don't think you like I don't think they like you've been you've been killing it back to back, right? Pause. So they might not have got that. Okay. So 
Once we meet oh. this business owner, remember, we're going after already successful business owners. Once we meet this right. business owner, when we become partners, what's theirs is ours, remember? So these people exactly. already have customer base, already have a customer list. So some of you guys watching this right now, your agency owners, and you do something called a reactivation campaign, meaning... Uh, you want to get them super fast results. So you'll promise them results in the next 24 hours only if they have a customer base list already, because, you know, instead of you going out to get new clients, it's way easier to get people that paid to come back. Right. So you get in contact with the people on that list and be like, yo, if you come back, we're going to do this for you, blah, blah, blah. And then the, uh, then the partner is all excited and surprised like damn this dude this stranger just came and made money for me out of thin air right? <laughs> right right so you guys are used to that we're about to take it up another notch that same Next customer base that you would do that um that that reactivation campaign with curtis is saying they're going to be the same people that are automatically not just going to be in a reactivation campaign because we're going to do that too, but they're going to go into our affiliate army. So every time we get a partner, we get access to their existing and new customer base. And not only do some of their money go in our pocket, but they go straight into our affiliate army and the affiliate army is promoting the partners. Have you guys ever saw a flywheel before how beautifully each part works in unison to feed each other okay that's what's going to happen the uh the the partners are going to service the customers the customers are going to uh promote the partners and when both get paid or service we benefit too because our digital twins grow in value and our money right <laughs> So I, I hope you That's guys right. are getting this. So go ahead, jump back in there. It's huge. Yeah. Boss. It, right. it, so, <laughs> so now watch this. <laughs> yeah, Vols, right? Watch this. We're going to take this to the next level. If you thought that one, utilizing the partner's customer base to create an affiliate army, now we're going to put that on hypersensitive drive. Watch this. Reliance, number seven is Reliance. Clients. And what that is, is synergistic partnerships. So let me give you a great example. I own a massage therapy uh, practice in, in Gilbert. We're going to basically create partnerships. So we created partnerships with a chiropractor, a, 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 an acupuncturist, and a, um, the cryo folks, right? And the gym. There now we created these irresistible packages with them. What happens with their people? We get access to their people. What are we going to do? We're going to turn them into affiliate army people. Mm -hmm. We're going to offer them the opportunity that we offer our customers as well. So our database just grew by five to ten, and oh. we have all of these people who we an opportunity to become affiliates and they don't only have to promote our product they get an opportunity to promote all the products of the chiropractor in terms of their packages they get an opportunity to promote the combined packages they get an opportunity to promote the acupuncture practices as well and they get the opportunity to look across the spectrum and go this is something that i may want to do like as a as a full time, you know, mm -hmm. entrepreneur, man. Yeah. I, so I mean, so, you just multiply your reach and leverage uh, multiple fold. Exactly. So you, if you guys notice, you're not just helping yourself. You're not even just helping your partner, the brick and mortar. You're also helping their customers. And then helping their customers, families and stuff like this could this is something that can bring them out of whatever situation they are just by working part time. And like Curtis said, like since we own the affiliate army, right, it doesn't matter if they don't promote our offers because we partnered with any of the companies that are inside our affiliate army. So whoever right. those affiliates promote, 
we get the a cut of that. So, like, guys, it's a it's a cesspool of 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 money. Like, is it, you it, you can't even run away from it. Once this stuff is plugged in, and you have your partnerships together and everything, like you said, you got it right there. But number seven, synergistic partnerships. Once all of that is plugged in, guys, that's when things become truly passive and effortless. I you give me one second to tell a quick story, Curtis. Um, it was a um, um it was um uh what is it called? A freaking what was auction auction company that I used to deal with back in the day. And this is when I was testing. I forgot what this guy's name is. It's a Caucasian dude, and he's super famous, but I just can't think of his name. He got real famous. That's when I really went on hyperdrive with this leverage stuff. I got obsessed with it. When I ran into this guy, he was talking about how he found out the majority of uh, uh, the people that went to this um, this beauty shop drove mercedes or something like that so they he partnered with mercedes to give any uh or, or with the beauty shop it was, it was something like that he partnered with the beauty shop or the mercedes to give anybody that gets a car the appointments at the beauty shop like like, like it was something perfect what he was talking about was how what yeah, i'm echoing i'm echoing hold on let me mute myself and then i'll mute myself okay all right that's better okay. All right. So he was partnering. Uh, what he was talking about was how to make it effortless without having to spend any money. He was pinning the referrals against each other. So when he, he'll tell he'll find like what you were saying earlier, Curtis, like how the group, some groups like you have a product that go perfect with the group. Like I was talking to Curtis earlier about the video from yesterday with the drones and stuff. Like when you think of realtors or when you think of drones photography, you think of realtors. So it goes perfect together. So I could partner with a drone photography company and I could partner with a realtor and I could tell the realtor whenever you get uh, realtor friends that need some, uh, uh, you know, drone photography or need a drone, you tell me. And, and you know what I'm saying? So I'll get referral bonuses or fees from that drone company. And then I'll tell the drone company the same thing. Whenever I can send a realtor to you, you give me this. So instead of me investing in anybody, all I got to do is wake up in the morning and a couple of referrals then came from the realtor. Yeah, I got a couple of my friends. They saw my drone videos. They want this. And then I go over there and I tell him he give me a cut. Then I can take the referrals that he give me over there to the realtors. You see what I'm saying? So when when we figured that stuff out, like I went crazy with it. So I started doing that with auction companies and I started getting first dibs on houses that uh, before they actually started selling them at the auction, which is how I was able to do good wholesaling. See, guys, y'all got it, man. Listen, I don't know my history. I always was creative with this stuff. I'm like, look, how do I not have to battle everybody for the same listings? So I'll get stuff before they, like before it hits foreclosure list, before it hit, like I was partnering with title companies, all type of stuff, guys. So you're gonna learn synergistic partnership Okay, create right. virtual That's alliance it. with industry complementers. Go ahead, man. Uh, bring it home, man. So, so let me bring this home by number eight and number nine. Number eight is the most powerful thing that you will ever see. And that is when you're AI driven virtual, you, you are going to help your partner understand that when they are AI driven, but they're virtual center, all those partners, right? With the physical fulfillment. So it's a, a micro, uh, maybe even a micro, micro, micro of Amazon. Amazon is a virtual company with fulfillment, physical fulfillment organizations, their trucks, their warehouses, et cetera, but they're a virtual company. How do you do that? Well, you do all the things that we just talked about. And when you do number nine, you reassess and you re reassess the value independently. So this company, the virtual company is this and the brick and mortar is worth this. When the virtual company.
company is worth more than the brick and mortar and there is an investment on both sides that means now when you put them together you are actually a virtual ai driven company with the physical fulfillment which means what does that mean what does that mean curtis that means that your multiple is no longer dictated by the physical is dictated by your competitor and the virtual which means that you are getting why is it that when we doing the scam pandemic clubhouse was worth two billion dollars and didn't make a dime it's a virtual company of virtual classrooms two billion dollars people and didn't make a dime because it's virtual and the multiple is different than it was worth more than the university of california ucla usc and santa barbara threw all together <laughs> just because it's virtual the 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 some of the colleges that are virtual are worth much more than colleges of brick and mortar that's true my point is when you do and you become the virtual company and you help your your business partners understand that then the whole company goes up in value so you could be looking at combined you know we're 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 worth 500,000 but as a virtual company we were 2.5 million mm -hmm. and that's the reassessment so what you learn with us is how to value the company up front how to understand the whole processes integrate all that stuff and then value the company once it becomes a virtual organization with a physical fulfillment process all right bars bars clap it up for Curtis Hey, I forgot we recording this, so y'all can't actually clap it up, but that was so cool <laughs> that I was actually expecting to hear some claps in the background. That's crazy. All right, but but dude, That's this is going to be the best decision of you guys' life. Like, this isn't some... If I, I, I wish it was a, a platform uh, more business-focused than YouTube, other than LinkedIn, because I hate LinkedIn. If it was, guys, I would have met you guys. Was, guys. Hold, on. Met you guys Hold on, I got the echo coming again. Hold on. I got the echo coming. All right, so the reason why I said that is because I understand on YouTube when you run into courses and programs, they're 99 bucks. So some of y'all watching this right now, y'all are in that mindset. I need you to understand that business exists off of YouTube. You go into them every day. You walk to them every day. You work at them every day. Why is the echo keep coming? Okay. But this is your opportunity to be able to own a digital copy of them and own maybe a percentage of the physical one, depending on how deep you go, pause, with the, the partner. So, and then the good thing about this is let them know, Curtis. Like once everything is plugged in, you don't really need like we're, this is not going to be some some training or course on how to go and get a million clients or a million partners. I'm not going to no. slave you out. I don't. That's my goal is not. Life is about more than work. So my goal is not to get you to two hundred thousand a month with with a million twelve hundred dollar a month clients. That's some bull. All I feel is hatred fear and and destruction when i think of the typical agency business model oh i may i was able to get to 200 why do you think all the top gurus sell off their agencies because they're in hell with all of them dang on clients so right. that was the business model before i i strongly suggest you go from agency to partner so get out of the broke 99 dollar mindset and dig up in your pockets. Yo, matter of fact, let me ask Curtis, because y'all need to know how much time y'all got left. So each one of these steps are probably going to be, I'm pretty sure, going to be a, a, a deep lesson in the uh, the membership program. So Curtis is going Absolutely. to he's gonna record these uh, this section of everything. Curtis, we about to start the dang on timer because people are lollygaggers and procrastinators. Um, no offense. <laughs> <laughs> right. So how long do you think it will take you? How many days do you think it would take you to do these nine uh nine videos, like in-depth videos? 
so I, I know people are excited. I want to do this and get this done within the four or five day span. Um, and, and it's probably I'll, I'll under promise over deliver. You know, if I can do it uh, over a two day span, because I know the stuff, obviously. And, yeah, and yeah, I'm trying to get you from zero to up and running. And, and here's the thing. If you pay $5,000 or even $10,000, because we charge people for a lot less, believe me, a lot less, $10,000 for just the R's and understanding how to do that and then buying business, physical businesses. So it's certainly worth the, the value. But if you think about it, if if the first day you took action and you went and got a client, the second and third day you could have the value back in your in your digital twin. Because remember, what every dollar that you bring in is five to ten dollars of value. And so, if you made a hundred dollars, you made really five hundred dollars. If you made a thousand dollars, that business at a thousand dollars is worth sixty thousand uh, dollars yeah, you just yeah. made your five thousand dollars back early go get your five thousand dollars from the bank and within within two to three weeks boom boom, boom. that's an irresistible offer. boom so guys all right we ain't gonna hold y'all too long but listen we already had this guarantee of an extra 200K per month. And this was not telling you guys to do this with a lot of with a lot of partners. This is before Curtis even brought the digital twin um to me, right? I was already guaranteeing this just by you plugging in the 10 different monetization methods. So the reason why I agreed to like bring him on is because I saw this increase immediately when he told me what he knew when he told me about the digital twin and the cinderella equity i immediately was like dog um just with one or two partners listen i don't think you guys understand how like if you're new to the agency game i don't think you understand how frustrating go and watch some agency videos that's our homework assignment and look in the comments and see how frustrated they are Oh, I can't get them results. Oh, I had a couple clients and they left me the first month after they paid me. Oh, like it's hell. I know y'all looking at the top people and they look all happy and fancy. Iman Gatsi and all of this. Ooh, I bought a Lamborghini with my SMMA. Look, listen, check this out. These dudes, why you think everybody turned to selling courses and stuff? Like I still own my agency because I'm not in hell with it. But majority of them, they closed their agency down or sold it and then moved on <laughs> because it was hell having imagine imagine this look at this number right here 200k imagine charging charging a thousand to even two thousand dollars a month each client how many clients would you have to deal with in order to get to two hundred thousand dollars a month that money would not be freaking worth it i promise you i know from experience it is hell to the point where one day I made so much money in one day and then I went into a panic after I got off the call. Uh, you know how I do things all at once. I sign. I don't do the one by one call situation when I'm trying to get a client or something. I'll have them all on there at the same time. Uh, hype up one of them. That's a tactic. Hype up one of them. Then the sheep will follow. Right. And then a lot of them started signing up at the same time. I wasn't really prepared for that. When I got off the call, I had so much money from that one hour. But then when it sunk in and I thought of how long my process was to get people good results at that time, I said, oh, no. And I started emailing everybody and giving them refunds. <laughs> Look, imagine that where you hate clients so much that you give them your money back after you did all the work to sign them. That is the agency that life. That's a typical life. agency That's life. life. You don't want That's that. Right. You don't want that. You need That's to find right. partners. Don't find clients, find don't partners. Find clients. Find okay. Partners. All right. With that being said, like he said, the clock starts. The uh, the time capsule full of sand is flipped over right now. Uh, uh, Brother Curtis is going to be creating the uh, the Cinderella equity portion of 
the course and I still have a couple more uh, videos for the training part of things is a membership. So you guys will have coaching. Now you have both of us. He'll be available. I'll be available a lot of the time and you're not going to be left. This is this, this. If you get in here and work it, guys, pause. This can change everything for you. You'll never have to buy anything else again. And the good thing about it is you can have partners that are already they already have they like SOPs. They already know their operations. They are they're good sales. Uh, they have a good sales team. They answer calls when you do marketing for them. All of that. Like we teach you how to go after like good business owners so that when you start plugging in your 10 monetization methods or when you start building this digital twin, they're going to be collaborative with you. They're going to be cooperative with you and everybody will make money, good money. Right. So. All right, man. As y'all can see flashing across the screen, screen, this is the last chance for the 497 for the next couple of days. As soon as Curtis texts me and says it is done, it's going to be written like in the Bible that y'all will never see 497 for this again. You understand? And this will probably be the last like training type situation I do before I relaunch the school into an actual real school. Not not brick and mortar, but more of like a, a real university type feel, but for entrepreneurs. So this is the last chance you guys got. 497 for the next couple of days. Don't make excuses. Make moves. Anything you want to say in closing, Curtis? I, I have one surprise and that is for the first X, and we'll we'll pick X ten to twenty people. We'll do my portion of the training with them live. So they will, and then everybody else that comes along will will be get recorded. the training inside the university or inside inside the program. But we'll do the first people live. They will be with me. They will ask me questions. They will go through the protocols. They will go through the, the exercises. And the only thing is you are required to do some work because you're going to be able to instantly innovate. Once, I, once we finish, you do these exercises, you're going to be instantly able to innovate. So you can walk up to anything and boom, go through these eight R's, not just through from a company perspective, but through a product. So the expectation is that when you finish with me, you will be able to patent at least three products and or services. That's mm -hmm. how. So we, we do patent pendings. And that's how that's how powerful it is. So I'm going to work with those individuals for the first X amount of days in order to get them like from zero to where they start, you know, making cash immediate, mm. running through the R protocols. Mm. Y'all heard, go. man. Surprise. Heard like, what, uh, what more can I say, Jay-Z life? You understand what I'm saying? Like, this is this is it, like. This is it, man. I promise y'all. Like soon, y'all gonna come and this stuff is gonna be shut down. I, I, you know, we. I've been doing this for years, and only a percentage of you guys actually take action to this stuff. The rest of y'all blame you if you don't take action. I want y'all to take action on this. He said when he's ready to launch. That's the five K, right? At 5K, those first people that get in is going to get his portion of the training live, okay? It's going to be live. This is a man that owns multiple businesses. Like, he owns, like, beauty salons. He owns chiropractor companies. He owns pawn shops and stuff. Like, this is no YouTube -y Logan Paul beat Mr. Beast Bull. Sorry to bring it up, but I'm just, I just we have to create a separation here. I need y'all to mature in your mind when y'all step to us. You understand? So and that's not a prideful thing. I just need you to understand that it's no, all right, well, I go let, let me go look at the next video over here. No, make a move, guys. Make a move. You'll be happy that you did, I promise. So he already created an irresistible offer. You'll be able to see his wisdom. You already seen it today, but you, you're going to see him go way deeper, step by step into each of the R's uh, and, and so that you can create your digital twins and everything. Um, Hey, we ride together, we die together. Bad boys, not the plan. Okay, all right, I'm gonna let y'all go. This is running on long, and I got a meeting. All right, Curtis, I will talk to you uh, offline in a minute. All right.